Good morning. Welcome back. Again, coming to the assignment 2 of day planning IIT Rapport. So, let's see the questions one by one. And the last date for the assignment is February 7th. Which of the following statements about the sigmoid function is not true? This is a derivative of sigmoid function cannot be negative. So, which is the correct answer means it cannot be always the derivative of sigmoid function cannot be a negative value. So, for the false also the same value. True means it cannot be negative. How many Boolean functions can be designed for 4 inputs? 2 to the power of 4 that is 16 but the option is not found so I have given 8. How many neurons do you need in the hidden layer of the perceptron to learn any Boolean function with 4 inputs? That is uh, 2 to the power of uh, 4 that is 16. We have uh, a function that we want to appropriate approximate using 150 rectangles. How many neurons are required to construct the required network? 150. What happens to the output of the sigmoid as x becomes very large for a input x? Then the output approaches to 0.5, the output approaches to 0. Coming to the sixth question, we have a classification problem with the label 0 and 1. Uh, we train a logistic model and find out w omega naught learned by the model is minus 17. And then the output is the label of the test point is 0. The diagram given below is a section of the sigmoid function given by y is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power of uh, omega naught to omega to the power of uh, tx. So for this the answer is uh, omega naught is equal to minus 14. And coming to the eighth question suppose we have a function f of x1 x2 x1 square plus 3 x2 plus 25 which we want to maximize the given function using the gradient descent algorithm. We initialize x1 x2 is equal to 0 comma 0 what will be the value of x1 after 10 upgrade, updates in the gradient descent that is 0. Consider a function f of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 2 what is the updated value of x after second iteration. So and the learning rate is 0.1 it is 1.6. What is the purpose of gradient descent algorithm in machine learning to minimize the loss function. So you can submit your answers once you have submitted your answers it will show the assessment is submitted and uh, that's all for the week 2 and you can uh, ask the questions in the comment box if you have any doubts let's meet in the week 3 thank you